Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into email campaign creation. And we're going to start with the five types of email campaigns and when to use them. Now, before we dive all the way in, I want to take a step back and recap because we've talked about a lot of different types of emails. First, we talked about the three different types or categories that each email would fall into, whether it's a transactional email, a relational email, or a promotional email. Then we talked about the two different ways you can send an email, whether you're uh, sending an email as a manual broadcast or it's triggered based on a subscriber action. Then we talked about the different uh, types of campaigns, more specifically the different campaign goals, what you would trigger to achieve a goal. So if you were trying to run an activation campaign or you were trying to run a segmentation campaign or a monetization campaign. Now, what it's important to realize is that each email category, the type, relational, transactional, promotional, uh, and, and each email send type, broadcast versus triggered, and even each campaign type falls into one of these five campaigns. So let's kind of jump in and I think it'll get a little more clear as we move, move along. So the first type is an indoctrination campaign. Now this should only happen once, right? Your indoctrination campaign is strictly to indoctrinate new users. Second, we have an engagement campaign, and, and don't worry, we're gonna break each of these down. Uh, next, you have your ascension campaign, segmentation campaign, and finally, your re-engagement campaign. Now, in a perfect world, you never have to worry about this. Unfortunately, we don't have to live in a perfect world, and if you do this, you'll be able to re-engage subscribers that otherwise would be worthless, and in fact, they'd be worse than worthless because once a subscriber truly becomes unengaged, once they truly stop engaging with your email, not only are they uh, just kind of inactive, they actually hurt the deliverability of your messages to your engaged subscribers. So we're gonna go through uh, crafting campaigns to re-engage subscribers and talk a little bit about what to happen uh, if, unfortunately, they don't re-engage with you and your message. So let's dive in and talk a little bit more about each one of these campaigns specifically. So what is an indoctrination campaign? An indoctrination campaign is a triggered campaign, so it's not manually broadcast, but triggered by an action sent immediately following initial subscription, and it's designed to engender the brand to the new subscriber. So let me break that down. You get someone who uh, subscribes to your email list. Ideally, they're subscribing for a specific lead magnet or offer so you know how to segment them, but we'll talk about that a little later. If that person has never been on your email list before, Right? If this is the first time they've ever opted in, they've ever subscribed to your email list, it's important for you to dive in and send them an indoctrination campaign. Now, this campaign is very specific on, on its goals, and we're actually gonna break down those goals, and we're gonna walk through our indoctrination campaign, and I'll show you some indoctrination campaigns from other big brands that I really like, but just keep this in mind. Indoctrination, which is the first phase of email marketing, the first kind of campaign type that we're focusing on is sent once per new subscriber uh, and it focuses on engendering the new subscriber to you, right, to your brand. So really we're building up uh, and, and indoctrinating them into who you are, what you believe, but we'll break that down in a second. So next is the engagement campaign. So once someone's been indoctrinated, you can truly engage with them on what they're interested in. So remember when I said, hopefully as a subscriber uh, is, is subscribing or, or opting into your list, that they're opting in for something specific, not subscribe to receive my newsletter, but some specific lead magnet uh, or discount or something that is, is, is specific that you can, uh, you can understand and, and figure out what it is that they're interested at that time. So once you know that, technically, that should trigger an engagement campaign, right? So an engagement campaign is an interest-based, triggered campaign sent immediately following an action, right? Designed to make a relevant offer and usually a sale to your subscriber. Now, it doesn't have to be a new subscriber, right? It doesn't have to be a brand new subscriber. Ideally, a brand new subscriber, while uh, they, they receive the indoctrination campaign, they're also receiving an engagement campaign because if they've opted in, if they've subscribed based on uh, something that's specific so you can determine their interest, now you can follow up with them on relevant information that you have, products or services, and offer to make a sale on what you know they're already interested in. 
Again, we're gonna break this down, go through examples of not only some of our campaigns, but some other campaigns in a later video. In fact, I'm gonna share with you my favorite engagement uh, campaign structure. The next campaign is the Ascension campaign. Now, an Ascension campaign is again a triggered campaign sent immediately following usually a purchase uh, to start what we call the value loop, right? The value loop. So it's designed to turn ordinary buyers into multi-buyers. So if you're following through each of these segments, think of it like this. A new subscriber comes in, they are immediately sent an indoctrination campaign so that they can build up um, some, uh, you know, some buy into your brand and who you are to get to know you. At the same time, they may be receiving an engagement campaign that is specific to what you know they're interested in based on what they requested and how they got on your list. Now, if the engagement campaign works, all right, if the engagement campaign works and that subscriber buys something and you have other things that you would like them to buy that are relevant to what you know they were interested in, then you may trigger an Ascension campaign. So after an initial purchase of something, now you go into an Ascension campaign to ideally try to start that value loop. The value loop being defined as you send them more valuable information and content, sometimes just offers, right? Sometimes offers to buy more stuff. And as long as they consider them valuable, they'll continue to buy. So you can continue to ascend someone higher and higher based on your product service or product or service catalog and what someone's interested in. So someone can very quickly go from complete stranger to uh, multi-buyer, leveraging these three campaign types, okay? And still, keep this in mind, we've yet to send a manual broadcast email. Everything that's happened has been triggered by a subscriber action, okay? So let's go ahead and move on. Now we get to the segmentation campaign. So a segmentation campaign is a manual campaign sent to your entire database or a large segment of your database, but not usually. It's sent as a promotion and it's designed to segment your subscribers by interest. All right, so this is the first time we're talking about actually triggering a broadcast mail. So going in and, and determining some uh, segment of your database and sending an email with the goal of getting them to raise their hand. So think about the previous steps we've talked about. If you have indoctrination, then you have engagement, then you have ascension. If we want to get someone into an engagement campaign, so it's an interest-based campaign, but we can't manually segment to figure out who would be or should be interested in that, then it's appropriate to run a segmentation campaign. So we run a segmentation campaign as a broadcast email. That can trigger manually the engagement campaign and continue making you sales, right? Now we're talking marketing automation. But again, we'll get into this a little bit more as we break down some uh, popular campaigns and I show you some best practices on segmentation. All right, now to the final phase, the re-engagement campaign. Now, a re-engagement campaign is not a fun campaign, but it's one you need to be sending in your business. You need to be using in, in any business. So let's define it real quick. A re-engagement campaign is a triggered campaign sent to any subscriber who has not opened or clicked an email from you in 60 or 30 to 60 days, all right, 30 to 60 days. And we'll talk about when it's appropriate for 30 and when it's appropriate for 60 a little bit later on. This campaign is designed to re-engage that subscriber with you and your brand. Now, it's very important to send this. Again, it's another triggered campaign. It'll only go out to people who have become unengaged with your brand. We'll talk about how to structure one of these campaigns and even why it's important to use it, not only for uh, engagement but deliverability, a little bit later on in the training. So that's it. Those are the five phases. Keep this in mind, right? Each of those phases just like everything else in email marketing, is designed to move someone further down the customer journey. So when you're sending an indoctrination campaign to your new subscriber, it's in here, right? It's in this first area. They've just probably seen an ad or received an email about your brand that's the first time they've ever been exposed to you. Now they opt in for a lead magnet or some specific piece of content, something specific so you know what they're interested in. The next thing that needs to happen is they need to receive value in advance. Now the delivery of this lead magnet is going to help with that, but also the indoctrination campaign helps to keep that subscriber moving down the customer journey but we want them to make an initial purchase. Well, the indoctrination campaign typically isn't going to uh, offer a direct purchase, 
right? It's not going to make a direct purchase to that new subscriber. That's where the engagement series picks up. So the engagement campaign's picking up. They make an initial purchase. Uh, now we're moving to Ascension. So we'll talk about the, uh, the three goals of Ascension campaign and how to figure out which one uh, yours should focus on uh, coming up. But do they need to learn to consume the product or service that they bought? Well, if so, that's a, that's a, a goal or a, that's a job of an Ascension campaign. Do they need to get real value from it? Do they need to acknowledge that? Those are all goals of an Ascension campaign. Do they need to make an additional purchase? Again, that can be a goal of an Ascension campaign. So up here in this first kind of row, think of this like a board game. So your first four moves typically live in the indoctrination and engagement. So if it's a brand new subscriber right here, we're talking about indoctrination. But what if we covered this up? Right? What if this wasn't here? What if we're talking about someone who's already on your list and we've sent them a, a broadcast email, a segmentation campaign, ask them to opt in, raise their hand by interest on something that we think they should be interested in? Well, if they opt in to that email list, they opt into that lead magnet, they're starting their customer journey over again. That's very good, all right? That's good, that's healthy. That's how you keep those subscribers moving around and engaged with your email. So, indoctrination and segmentation, ascension, and then down here, they need to learn to consume, right? They need to get even more value and become a raving fan, all right? They need to start saying nice things about you and potentially become a promoter. Those can be either uh, an ascension campaign or another segmentation campaign, or it may take at some point uh, a segmentation, or a, I'm sorry, a, a broadcast or a segmentation to get them re-engaged back in this process. Now, if at any time they fall completely out of this for 30 or 60 days, it'll take a re-engagement campaign to get them re-engaged with the brand and hopefully put them right back where they left off in your customer journey. So this is the way that all of these different pieces of, of email marketing, whether it be email types or campaign types or promotional goals, work to move your customer from the aware stage to the promote stage. Right? If at any point in time they get stuck, we can leverage a triggered campaign to move them along. Sometimes we leverage a broadcast campaign. Now we're gonna break down these different campaigns, starting with the indoctrination campaign in the next video. So I'll see you there.